for some reason, Christmas with the Cranks seems to have quite divided opinions. It's got a score of 5.4 out of 10 on IMDb and a score of 30-something percent on Rotten Tomatoes. And I honestly don't understand why it's got quite such a low, low score. Because I think it's great fun. It's a little bit silly, very funny, and full of Christmas that I don't understand why people don't like it. They're entitled to their own opinion, of course, but personally, I recommend this a lot. So the film itself was released in 2004, directed by Joel Roth and written by John Grisham and Chris Columbus, and stars the fabulous Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Cur Curtis, uh, Dan Aykroyd's in it. And I'll read the description from IMDb, as I think it sums it up quite nicely. There won't be any spoilers in this. The description is as follows. With their daughter Blair away, Luther and Nora Crank decide to skip Christmas altogether until she decides to come home, causing an uproar when they have to celebrate at the last minute. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, the the Cranks, played by Jamie Lee Curtis and Tim Allen, decide that they are not going to have a traditional Christmas. It's too much effort. Their daughter's not coming home. What's the point? And then she announces that she is, and... Everything is just total chaos as they try and have to get everything ready and it's it's all about them trying to get Christmas together, you know, in the last second and it's brilliant and it's full of hilarity and, you know, issues constantly. Obviously, there are problems all the time. They try and get this, they can't, they try and put up this decoration, it falls down. It's just constant chaos and a race against time. And it does have that pace. You can feel the race against time when you're watching it. The narrative doesn't feel rushed, but you can definitely feel the, I guess, the adrenaline of the characters as they're trying to get this done. The narrative is great. I really like that narrative. I think it's really good. I particularly like the fact that it's driven by Nora and Luther Crank. I really like those as characters. I thought it worked really well. Maybe if they had been different actors, I wouldn't have liked it so much, but I think their performances were absolutely brilliant. Caroline Ray is in this. Obviously, I love her. So for me, that was always going to be a really big benefit. I guess the entire point of the film is, will they have everything ready by the time their daughter arrives? I'm not going to tell you whether or not they have everything ready. I will let you imagine what happens for yourself. But it is great fun, very funny. It's not the most hilarious film I've ever seen. But certainly there wasn't really a moment where I thought it was dull or slow to progress or where somebody wasn't really acting properly or a character was giving the wrong kind of, uh, kind of unbelievable actions. For me, it ticks all of the boxes for a nice, fun, family-friendly Christmas film that, if you want to get put into the Christmas spirit, will definitely do that for you. I don't know why Christmas with the Cranks has such a low rating. As I said, it's not my all-time favourite. But if somebody said, look, I want to watch a Christmas film, can we watch Christmas with the Cranks? Absolutely. It's, it's great fun, brilliantly cast. Not 100% predictable, but I guess it's... Well, I won't, I won't say how predictable it is because I don't spoil it, but it's not the most unique film ever, but I thoroughly enjoyed it, and if you get a chance to see it, I hope you do too, because truly, Christmas with the Cranks is good fun. <laughs>